In this video, I'm going to show you the controls available on the mixer page. At the top, you have the track names, which you can drag along to scroll across various tracks. And if you long hold on them, you can rename a track. At the top, you've got faders for controlling the EQ. There's a high and a mid, which you can lower and raise, as well as a mid frequency selector so you can pick exactly where that peak is going to be. On any of these controls, you can just hold down and enter a value. Or in the case of uh, the high and mid, you can reset to center. Uh, the same is true for pan and the EQ fader. There's also in the center of this a mute, solo, and arm button. Depending on which device you're using, you're going to have uh, some dots at the bottom of this page, which let you flip to the other pages of uh, each mixer track. And in this instance on the iPad, I've got uh, two pages. And here I can select uh, the input if I've got a uh, audio interface plugged into the iPad that I want to use. In this case, I've got my Scarlett 18i6 plugged in, so I can pick any of these inputs. In this example, I'm going to use the Mono 2. And if I switch back now to our, our view here and hit the arm, you can listen to my TT303 being played through the iPad. Now, with it armed, we just hit the record button and it's recorded this so i'm going to now uh, fix this up into a loop all right i've got a simple loop here now that uh, i can show the effects with and uh, you'll notice that the uh, mixer itself has disappeared here in this view and that's because i'm in edit if you're ever like but what the hell happened to that just hit scroll and it brings it right back so now you can switch over into the other page and you'll see we've got inserts, which are our effects. So in this case, I know that this is going to sound good if I throw in some distortion and even more distortion and just a tiny bit of delay. And let me lower that so I don't blow out your ears. So that sounds good, right? But what if you decide that now you got this great effects chain going on and you want even more effects. Well, you've got lots of options here, including effect sends. Uh, each track has two different effect sends that it could be sending to. And if you tap on that, you'll be presented with any buses that you've created or the option to just make a new one. And in this case, it just created one for me. If we go to our bus view, we see that this has been created and we can it just disarmed the track for me. Um, just rename this to 303 effects so we know it when we see it. And here, once again, we've got inserts, so we can add in more effects. And let's just throw in some reverb. And going back to this view here, uh, you can now listen as I mix in the send level. <laughs> And that can be a really handy tip for uh, working with any instruments that you want to go into the same effects. So like uh, with drums, you could have up to you know, like 8 to 16 different drum tracks for all the parts, but you want it to sound like it's all one drum kit. So you want it to go into one effect so that they all sound like they're in the same space. And uh, if you want to get really fancy with it, and you can, you can go up here and change the master output to the... Um, to just go straight from the this track into your uh, second bus, which is going to probably sound a little weird uh, the way that I'm doing it, but let's, let's hear that. Oh. And if you've got an audio interface that lets you, you can even change the output of this to any of the outputs available on your audio interface. So in this case, I've got six different outputs. I could say, you know, instead of going to master, go out to three and four and on three and four, I might have another effect that I'm working with or whatever, you know, it, it, 
the sky's the limit with this. This is a, a lot of different opportunities to do a lot of different things. And if at any point you decide, well, uh, you know, uh, that's that's just a hell of a lot of effects there. I don't need that second. Uh, you just long tap and, and it'll present you with the option to remove it. 